Hello, welcome to this seated exercise session based on the themes and characters of Pride and Prejudice, Jane Austen's wonderful novel. This is one of four sessions we're doing on this same theme. Uh, each one will develop its exercises in relation to the other sessions, but you can also do each one as a standalone and join us at any point. All you need is a stable chair, preferably without any arms and a little bit of space, and to be wearing some comfortable clothes. Uh, all the uh, exercises in this session will be seated. There will be some standing ones towards the end, but always with a seated alternative if you prefer to do that. So uh, I'm going to be playing some music in my house and leading a bit of a vocal session. Louisa and Rosa will be leading fantastic exercises from their homes. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so welcome to um, this second uh, Pride and Prejudice session. Um, so Louisa and I have created some movements again for you and he has played some lovely music for us. So we're going to start with a little warm up and um, we're going to be Mr. Darcy here, so thinking about that sort of pride and just, he's a little serious in the beginning still. So we're going to be, I wouldn't say stiff because we want to think about the fluid movements, but we're sort of a little bit noble with that lift and length through our spine. So let's just check our posture first before we'll uh, get going. So sitting in the front part of your chair, if you're okay, I'm sitting slightly sideways so that it's easier for you to see. And then we don't want again the heels to be traveling under the knees, so under this chair, sorry, we want them to be under the knees and toes pointing forward. And just creating that lift through your spine. Let's just squeeze the shoulders up here for a moment and drop them down. Let's do that again. You can take a nice big breath in, squeezing up and release that. Lovely. So we will start taking one arm. So really feel like you root down to your sit bones to the chair. If you like, you can hold with one hand the side of the chair. We're gonna reach side like you would scoop up, take a nice big reach up with the arm. And then we're gonna press. Think of it as there's a little bit of resistance there. We're gonna press the hand arm down. Thinking about like you would take it on a, on a walking stick here. And we're gonna take the other one, reaching up and pressing down to meet the other hand here. And then that sense like you press down with the hands to grow even taller. We're gonna take this shape into a twist. So twisting one way, really let the arms to help you to go a little bit deeper into that twist. We're gonna take the arms back into the center. I'm gonna think about that Mr. Darcy character, length, nice, good posture, coming back and lowering down. Then it's like we're going on that horse um, right now. So we're gonna think about being the horse. So our feet are gonna go, we're gonna roll through the feet. We're gonna go one, two, three, then four is a tap. Then the same foot's gonna go down one, two, three and tap again one two three tap really walking working through your feet tap so we're gonna do that four times then we're gonna think about that scene where Darcy is gonna go for that swim the famous jump into that lake so we're gonna reach again one arm up and then we're gonna reach the other arm up, taking your palms together here. And then we're gonna go for a sort of a dive. So you're gonna dive forward, let your spine curl here and just ripple through, we're gonna come up. We're gonna go again, diving down, curl, and then coming up. And then we'll take two swims, really again, letting that um, middle back draw towards the chair, reaching forward and then pushing that water back. We'll take another swim forward and pushing it back. And then we're gonna shake the water. So we're gonna take two steps with one foot and shake the rest. We're gonna go one, two, and shake, 
shake and I think that comes again shake shake then we we um, suddenly see um, Elizabeth here um, and it's sort of a greeting so we're gonna point one foot forward coming into your arabesque arms like you would reach to greet Elizabeth and then we're gonna flex the foot and the wrist and just push to lengthen and close we're gonna take that to the other side so lengthening the other foot leg forward reaching the arms into your arabesque arms and then we're gonna flex the foot and the wrist and then have a little sense of push with the heel of the palm and the and the heel of the foot forward and then the lower down and that's it we're gonna do that with some lovely music that Nia's played for us short intro here we go reach press through the air on that walking stick the other arm reaching up press down coming into your twist slowly and back keeping that leg the other way and back lowering the hands down in the back horse right one two later in Louisa's um, the March exercise that we did last week so we had a little question on that so we're gonna just go the um, steps through slowly seated so we're gonna um, maybe I'll, I'll stay this way so it's easier to see so we're gonna go we're gonna step three steps and one of them is gonna go forward so we're gonna go forward and then the other foot's gonna step on place and then we're gonna take that foot in. Then we're gonna change. So we're gonna go forward, then change in. So you can do that with your hands if you like. So we're gonna go step, step back. So one forward, one on place, down. So we'll go step, 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 keep changing, but then you go back to, if you go left, right, left, we go right, right, left. Right. again left right left right left right and then Louisa did that step where we step slightly across if you remember with the arms standing so we're gonna just do the legs so if you like you can go across so we go right across right across then we step a left and then right comes back to place we'll take left across right steps where it is and then take the left back so it's like a one two three we'll go one two three one two three and then with the arms that went one two three i think that was how we did it ha step 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 and step 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 so i hope that helps but if it's too confusing to step across as we come to that exercise so you can just step forward so think about one two three and we'll change to three so that's our cha 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 step so last week we did our exercise where we were perusing around looking for the richest strongest most handsome man in the room um, imagining we are the sisters in pride and prejudice trying to find a husband 
So we're going to go back to that exercise again this week and I'll just quickly recap um, what we learned already and then we will add another section on today. So we begin sitting up really lovely and tall through our spine and we've got our three taps with our heel as we're looking over one shoulder so we're tapping or one, two, three, back to centre, lifting our heels and our shoulders down, heels down, other side, tap, tap, tap back to centre, up, down, up, down, we then used one hand to look over to one side of us and reached across to beckon somebody towards us, lifting up, finding that tall spine again, looking to the other side, and someone else has caught our eye, so we blow them a kiss, good. And from there, we had our toe in, toe in, he's so rich. And heel in, heel in, he's so strong. And toe in, toe in, he's so handsome. And heel in, heel in, he's got it all. And then we had four fast kisses. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that was the recap of what we did last week. The next section, we finish with our hands out here. One hand is going to come down and the other hand is going to come up towards our head and you're imagining you're kind of stroking your hair. So leaning into that arm slightly and then we've got a kick and a kick. And then we throw our arms all the way up to the ceiling and bring them down, and as we bring them down, running in our feet as though we're super excited. That's all of the different men in the room. And then we're gonna to go to the other side, so leaning into that arm as you imagine you're stroking your hair, and we've got a kick and a kick, lifting your arms up to the ceiling and running in excitement, okay? So that's kind of like the middle section, um, if you like. And then we've got the last section, which is very similar to the first section, apart from this time we're imagining that we've found somebody that we really want to be with. So we're doing the same again by looking around with our tap, tap, tap. We've got tap, 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 back to centre. And this time you're imagining you've got your perfect, um, perfect partner in front of you. So you're going to reach with one hand, one heel, other hand, other heel, bring it in and bring it in. And we go the other side, just checking around, back to centre, heel, heel, in, in, okay? Now from there, you're going to look again to one side and you're gonna shake your head and think, no, there's nobody else for me. Coming back, looking the other way and you're gonna flick your hand, okay, as if to say, no, again, no one else for me. And then we've got our toe in, toe in and this time we're doing the same action but we're imagining we're saying he's not rich enough over there and we've got a heel in heel in and he's not strong enough and then we've got our toe in toe in he's not handsome enough and heel in heel in to the person in front of us we'll say you've got it all and then we'll bring one hand into our chest, other hand into our chest, reaching forward, really, really reaching here, and then you're gonna let your arms drop, and we'll swing for four, three, four, then you're gonna reach your hands all the way forwards again, running down as your hands come down, and we finish by throwing up, okay? So that's quite a lot of movement that we've got and like we know from last week, it is quite fast with the music, but we'll just see how we go and don't worry if you completely mess it up the first time, we will do it twice through so you'll have a second chance to try it at it again um, straight afterwards. So, so try not to worry about anything. Sit up nice and tall, feeling that lovely length in your spine. Here we go. And a one. Other side, one, two, three, lifting up, up, and looking to one side, pulling them in, other side, and do a kiss, with our toes, toes, he's so rich, and heel, he's so strong, toe, toe, he's so 
go, hands up, heel, heel. You've got it all, and one, two, three, four, hands, and a kick, kick, reaching forwards, and down, other side with our hair, and kick, kick, reaching forwards, and running down, we've got our hats, one, two, three, reach, reach, in, other side, and reach, reach, in, in, looking over there, and shake, and how about over there, throw it away, and toe, toe, he's not rich enough, heel, heel, he's not strong enough, toe, toe, he's not handsome enough, heel, heel, he's got it all, reaching one hand, reach, 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 and a swing, and forwards, and a run, So we will give that a go again with some music now, just quickly, um, before we move on for today. But just um, to point out, in the moments where we've got our kind of actions with our rich and our strong and our handsome, um, if you want to, you can move a little bit through your spine on those bits as though you're, you're directing that action to somebody. So you can kind of twist and look over to one side and twist to the other side and look over and twist to the other side as though you're spotting people in the room that you're saying those things about, okay? Um, let's just go, let's give it another go. So we're just going to run through those characters uh, and remind ourselves of the single words we've used to sum up these characters taken from quotes in the book. So first of all, we'll just remind ourselves of our proud, but in reality quite shy, Mr. Darcy. And Mr. Darcy's character word is tolerable. So we're going to assume our Mr. Darcy shy but proud stance. And you can assume any stance of your own for this one, just, just make it up. And use that word tolerable, using every syllable, every consonant, and really kicking that word out. Ready? And tolerable. Excellent. And now we're going to do Elizabeth Bennett's character word. And her character word is the way she's described by Lady Catherine de Bourg as headstrong. And my uh, stance for Elizabeth is going to be hands on hips, but you can do anything to suggest her sassiness and her intelligence. 
and we're going to use that word headstrong and really kick out that H and project the word. Okay, ready? And headstrong. Fantastic. Now we'll do our Lady Catherine de Bourgh, rather pompous and superior word. And her word is going to be displeased. She very often is displeased. And I'm going to imagine her presenting her superiority to the company. You can do any styles you like. So we're going to say displeased, ready, and displeased. Lovely, and let that ring to the rafters. And now we're going to do Mr. Collins, the ingratiating, obsequious clergyman who really wants to get on side with Lady Catherine. And obsequious is his word. So let's make the most of that word and our obsequious Mr. Collins stance. Ready and obsequious. Fantastic. Okay, now we've reminded ourselves of those character words. We're going to take two of the characters, Elizabeth and Mr. Collins. And in the story, Mr. Collins has been urged by Lady Catherine to find himself a wife. And so he immediately takes that up and he uh, has his eye on the eldest Bennett girl, first of all, but she is already spoken for. So he very quickly moves on to Elizabeth and he makes his proposal of marriage which he expects her to be overjoyed about. So our vocal exercise is going to sum up, we're going to paraphrase here, we're going to sum up the situation where Mr. Collins asks three times uh, for Elizabeth to accept his proposal of marriage. And Elizabeth, starting off quite politely, becomes quite impatient about his refusal to accept that she's not going to say yes. So we're going to use our voices and our stances to suggest that escalating situation. We're going to uh, raise the volume as we go, and we could even raise the pitch a little bit, um, and raise our physical stance as well as this face-off continues. So the first time Mr. Collins proposes marriage, we're just going to say, would you be my wife? That's our phrase, and we're going to use it with a Mr. Collins-esque, obsequious sort of stance. So, ready? Would you be my wife? And, would you be my wife? And Elizabeth is going to be quite polite, but firm, and say, I thank you, but no. So we're going to say that in, in a reasonably gentle sort of voice, and a reasonably low volume. Ready? And, I thank you but no, with our Elizabeth stance. Okay, so second time around, things are heating up a little bit, and Mr. Collins can't really believe, and doesn't, he refuses to believe this, this rejection. And he says, you can't mean it, but we're going to raise the volume a little bit, and raise his stance a little bit, as he gets slightly more indignant. You can't mean it. And Elizabeth, equally, is going to raise her voice a little bit and say, I'm perfectly serious. Ready? And, I am perfectly serious. And so for the third time now, Mr. Collins comes back and he says, you will surely change your mind. And now I'm really going to raise the volume. You will surely change your mind. And Elizabeth is going to give him a very firm, no. Ready? Top of your voice and no. So we'll just finish the vocal now by running through those three dialogues. We're going to say, would you be my wife? I thank you, but no, in a medium pitch and volume. And then you can't be serious. I think we said, or something similar. You can't be serious, we're going a bit John McEnroe now. And Elizabeth is going to say, I'm perfectly serious. And now for the last time, we're going to say, you will surely change your mind. And Elizabeth will say, no. Okay, so let's start with, would you be my wife? And would you be my wife? I thank you, but no. I thank you, 
but no. And we'll do our John McEnroe version and say, you cannot be serious. And Elizabeth is going to say slightly louder, I am perfectly serious. I am perfectly serious. And finally, you will surely change your mind. You will surely change your mind. And a great big no. Ready? Big deep breath. No! Thank you very much. Okay, so this next exercise is based on our character Elizabeth from Pride and Prejudice. And as we know from our local, Elizabeth is extremely headstrong. Um, but she is, by the end of it, mistaken about Mr. Darcy. So she has already made this judgment when she kind of meets him. And then um, she, she kind of gets the wrong impression of him as, as the book goes on. But towards the end, we see that it's actually um, a misinterpretation and she ends up accepting his proposal of marriage. Um, so we'll just kind of think about that journey of Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy and the way that that interaction changes between them um, for the basis of this exercise. But we'll just do the first section today. So for the first section, Elizabeth isn't um, liking Mr. Darcy. She's saying no, and she's not accepting his proposals, and um, she doesn't actually think that he's a very good person. So we're going to begin by reaching one hand up and the other hand, and press through the heels of our hands, and as if to say, go away, you know pressing, saying no, and then we're twisting one way up, twisting the other way. From there, we're pressing down to the side, as though we're pushing somebody away, coming back up, and pressing down to the other side, and coming back up, okay? So that section of movement actually comes back throughout this exercise, it's almost like a chorus, and you'll hear in the music as well, the music um, repeats, so you'll hear that, that section of music over and over and every time you hear it we come back to that section of movement but from there we're going to move on and we've got a clap clap and we're going to elbow Mr Darcy out of the way lift our hand up looking away from it and then you're going to wave goodbye to him okay and then we've got a clap clap with the other elbow Lifting up, looking away from that hand and towards as you wave goodbye. We come back to that first section, reaching up, up, heels come down, and we've got turn to the side, turn to the side. Press away, up, press away, up. Now from here, we're going to step our foot one, two, and you're kind of thinking, should I change my mind here? So bringing your hands to your heart and then say, no, no, tap, tap. Other side, one, two, will I change my mind about him? No, no, in, in, and back to this. One, two, three, four, press up and press up, okay? So we'll do that much today with the music and we will add on, um, next week but there is another two sections where we grow fonder and fonder of Mr Darcy as the exercise goes on uh, but we will just do that section today with some music and just so you know I think there's about eight pounds of an introduction so just use that time to pull up through your spine sit nice and tall and feel really nice and headstrong and um, before we move that first arm up all right Two. 
that is our first part of Elizabeth. Um, we'll do that one more time as well, just to get it into our bodies. And after, after we've done it the second time, uh, Mia will continue playing and we'll have a little bit of a chance to have a march through our feet before we come up to stand today. Okay, so just follow on once we've done our, our third section of our recurring motif. Um, we'll just do a bit of free movement. the chair if you are doing uh, the standing variation so we'll be doing a seated variation as well that you can follow so, 
So we're going to do a little plie and balance and swing exercise that's based on um, Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth being in this ball. They maybe just met each other once before, so they know about each other, but they don't um, they don't really like each other that much yet. So it doesn't really quite go right here. So we start with uh, standing nice and tall, feet parallel behind your chair. And I will show the seated variation as well, that there's gonna be a video of that as well. So here we go. Mr. Darcy is gonna bring his hand in and just take a noble bow here, greeting Elizabeth. And she's taking a little curtsy and just looking slightly away. And then she's happily dancing with um, other people, not Darcy. Uh, and we're going to go forward, being Elizabeth here, swinging the hand and then flex the wrist to push like you put your hand together with your dance partner. We're going to take another plie, swing the hand back and there we see Mr. Darcy looking at us. Um, but we're not that impressed so we go, oh, why does he have to be everywhere? We'll take that to the other side. So swinging the hand forward with a plie, flex, push with your dance partner hand, imaginary dance partner. We're going to swing the hand back. We'll see Darcy there again and we'll go, oh, he has to be everywhere. We're going to take a rise back in dancing happily here. And then we're going to sweep one arm to the side, just longingly. If only there would be someone we could love in this world. Reaching up as you rise again, lengthen. And then we'll reach the other arm to the side, longingly and taking it back. Then, so we're going to be Mr. Darcy here and we'll do a squat rather than a plie. So we're going to take our sit bones back and we're going to spot, look over the shoulder, try to spot Elizabeth here because he's sort of interested coming back. But then we're going to take um, a tap to the side, thinking about mm, there she's dancing, but she's not quite like noble enough for me. We'll take that to the other side. So sticking your sit bones back. Squat, look over one shoulder. We're going to try and secretly look for Elizabeth. And we'll take a tap. There she's dancing. Not quite good enough for me. Coming back. Then Darcy is rising as well. Coming down. And we're going to come into a heel balance. So lifting your toes. And as we do that, just looking over one shoulder, we're still trying to look for Elizabeth. We're watching her. Rising again lowering down, lifting the toes and then we'll look over the other shoulder trying to spot Elizabeth. Good. We're going to come into a little swing so extending one leg to the side and if you like you can let go of your chair or furniture there, swinging the arms, this general dancing, jolly dancing in the ball. We'll have two lots of eight here and then as we come to the second we'll make it smaller and come back to the chair. Then we're going to take a balance. So think about like you brush your foot back and then toes on the floor. If you're okay, we'll lift that, but we're trying to keep that length here. Just a little balance, lowering the leg down. We're being Elizabeth first. No, we're being Darcy first. Sorry, we'll take a balance down. And then Darcy is saying, you have quite fine looks, but you're not quite up to my standards. So taking that balance down and Darcy says, says, you have quite fine looks, but you're not quite up to my standard. And then Elizabeth taking that balance to the other side, lifting the leg up, lowering down. She says, I could never marry someone like you. And that's our end. And the seat is very similar. So if you're doing that, just follow the seated variation. We're going to do that with some music. Taking a bow, Elizabeth Curtsy.
exercise now where we are imagining that we're dancing with Mr Wickham. So we'll just recap what we did last week to begin with and then we will add on um, to, to what we've already got. So we begin in our parallel position and we take our toss, toss on the introduction, lifting up our skirts and take our curtsy, come back to centre and then we have our frame of the face frame of the face. Now our arms stay here as we step forwards or slightly on the diagonal and we've got our three step, our cha cha cha. So we step forwards, back, back, arms come down, back, back, and forwards, back, back, forwards, back, back. Once more each side and forwards, back, back. Now from here we had our eight marches and on the eighth march we had our tap. So you can keep that on the spot again this week, or if you'd like to, I will teach a little pathway where we're going to take it in a square motion back to where we started. Um, but just to say, I will be calling out right, left, right, left. And because I am facing you, if I go to my right, that looks like it's your left. So just be aware of that, that when I'm saying go to the right, you're, you'll be going the opposite way. Um, hopefully that will make a bit more sense when we just go for it. So we've got steps forward with our right leg leading first. We've got four steps forwards. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to the side together, side tap. So that was our eight marches and with our tap. Then we're going backwards. One, two, three, four, side together, side tap. So if you want to, you can take that pathway. Otherwise, just just leave it on the spot, that's completely fine. But then we went from there into our reaching up, reaching up, our skirt in our other hand, our back foot extended, and then we marched slowly before around in the circle to finish where we, where we began. And that's where we ended last week, but we'll add on this week. So from here, you're going to come back to parallel, find that skirt and lower it down. And we've got eight marches again, and this time you can keep on the spot too, or you can do the pathway, but we'll lead with the left foot. So we're going one, two, three, four, to the side, step, side, tap, back, two, three, four, side, together, side, together, reaching the other way. So finding that length, finding that skirt, that back foot extends, and we've got our four, two, three, Four, and we finish back in centre in parallel on that one. Our hands come down, we've got one, two, and then we're going to press one hand in front of us as though, imagine you're meeting your partner's palm to palm here. And then you're going to step across with our cha, cha, cha. And we bring that down, clap, clap, press, and cha, cha, cha. Last time, one, two, press, cha, 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 and we finish by lifting that skirt up, taking a quick curtsy and below your kiss. All right, so let's give that a little bit of a go with some music. Hopefully I didn't confuse you too much with the right, left, right, left. Um, if, if you're worried about that at all, just keep it on the spot. Um, the last thing you want to do is get confused and end up falling over your feet. So. If, you, if you've got any doubt, just keep it nice and simple on the spot. Um, but if you'd like to give it a go, the option is there too. Here we go. And toss, toss. Lifting that skirt, take a curtsy. Up, framing the face. Thank you. 
going to come back down to sit for the cool down today. So just finding your chair again if you've been standing, um, coming in front of it and pressing your bum right to the back of the chair to lower yourself down. Having a little bit of a wiggle once you're there, finding that space between the back of the chair and your spine here and checking that your feet are in parallel, ready for the cool down. Alright, so we are going to take a really nice slow cool down today um, to just help our body unwind. We've done a lot of movements, so well done everybody. It's been a full pack class, um, but just enjoy uh, the music today as we move through our cool down. So follow along and enjoy Nia's gorgeous playing. So we'll start with an inhale. And Take care of yourselves and we hope you have a wonderful week ahead of you.